Hi, and welcome to this Evernote introduction. My name is Maurice, and I run a website called latentlifestyle.com. I'm going to give you a little bit of an overview of what Evernote can do today, and the reason that I wanted to get involved in doing these tutorials is because I pretty much tell everyone about Evernote. Whether I'm in a shop, whether I'm down at the sea, whether I'm talking in a, a group of people, or whether I'm in class, I think Evernote is usable to everyone. And the reason that I think it's usable to everyone is because it's flexible. It's flexible, you can make it into whatever is logical to your brain, you can store whatever you want in Evernote, and you can easily retrieve it again. It's basically a notebook, a portable notebook, but it's a portable notebook with a difference. Yes, I can carry around my diary. Yes, I can make little wee jotted notes down. But if I leave that at home, or if I misplace it in the shop, or if I lose that notebook, it's gone forever. Whereas through Evernote, I can access any kind of document that I've stored, my photo library, and I can access it on a number of devices, as we'll see. The difference is, through the paper version, I can carry it about and it doesn't weigh a great deal. The weight of my phone, a tablet, or maybe even just my laptop, and yet I have access to all my digital information. So I can get it through all these different areas, and it doesn't even need to be my own device. I can go and use somebody else's device. If I end up at work and I really need that one document, this would be the ideal platform in which to use. Perhaps you're in the shop and you forgot the shopping list, you've got it in Evernote, you take your phone out, and you check off the boxes. But let me just show you some of the reasons why this digital idea can store all your information in one place, the one-stop shop. So it's useful for note-taking. It's useful as a study tool. You can even turn your notes that you make into questions so that you can test yourself over and over again. It's also useful for web clipping. I do some research while I'm online, take whole web pages, take whole articles, and even clip down to small sections of information, clipping them into Evernote, putting them into notebooks, perhaps it's something that you're working on and you wanna get a feel or you wanna get a number of ideas and you wanna put them all in one place, Evernote has a list function. And this is very useful. You're going down to the shops to go and buy something. Maybe it's a wish list, maybe it's a travel list. Uh, this is a place where you can store it and you can easily retrieve it again. I send a lot of my emails straight into Evernote. Those ones that I want to keep, those ones that I want to merge together, I can keep them all in one row and I can see how the conversation has progressed. I also keep a lot of my receipts so that I can see exactly what I've got and I don't need to keep piles of them in bags and drawers ready for each tax year. Your business card, it's a dictaphone and I can also write freehand in it. It even has a function in the premium version where it can start to read your own handwriting. See a photo storage option to it. And this is very useful if you want to put a lot of pictures, put them into folders and store them in a place that's safe away from everyone. Here's a number of other documents that you can store, Word, Keynote, PowerPoints, PDFs, pretty much any file you can put into Evernote. And you can retrieve those files on any particular device as well. You can also turn your notes into a presentation. You can talk about how things get on, you can show them to others, all within one space. And finally, we've got the whole idea of collaboration. You can discuss with people within Evernote how you're going to move forward on a particular project. Maybe it's a thing between your family and each person is putting items on a shopping list so we all know what we want at the end of the week. Perhaps it's just about you making sure you've got all your document and travel information for when you go away on holiday that everybody else can access. It's personal to you, and that's what makes Evernote stand out amongst the rest. But why did I choose Evernote? And why did I think that this was the better storage or note-taking platform to the other ones that are out there? Well, I think we need to head on over to Evernote. So in your browser, type in evernote.com. Okay, so we put Evernote at the top here, and we push enter, and here we come up with Evernote. I'd urge you to always look out for this in the address bar, evernote.com. This is where you're going to be storing a lot of your information. I'm assuming you're wanting to know a little bit more about Evernote, which is why you're looking at the introduction. So these are just a few pointers. 
always look to make sure that the little wee S is there to show that it is a secure site that you're on. And here we have our symbol, Evernote with the elephant head. Now the elephant head obviously is a symbol. A symbol is that Evernote remembers everything for you. This picture changes from time to time. It might be a man or a woman, and some of these items change. But this essentially is what we're looking for, the Evernote symbol. I wanted to tell you why I chose Evernote above other notes pr taking programs. And for that, we need to scroll all the way down to the bottom. So if we go right down the bottom here, you'll find a, a little wee about. When we get to about, there's some terms of service. And this is what sets Evernote out about everything else. There are three laws of data protection that Evernote are very keen on. The very first one is the data is always mine. I find this to be its biggest selling point. I didn't want anybody mining my own data, even though the research is open to everyone and I put it up online, even though I have notes about whether I'm going to buy milk or bread or whether I'm going to go shopping for a particular item or what my next purchase is on Amazon. This information is personal to me and this information is always going to be mined through Evernote. Evernote takes your data very seriously. They make sure it's protected. But as added protection, you even are able to encrypt your own notes. So it makes it even harder for people to break in and find it. So should you have something very sensitive, maybe it's a password or maybe it's um, a document that you don't want anybody else to see, you can double encrypt it with an Evernote. And the last one I've already spoken about, it's portable. You can get it on your laptop, your mobile phone, uh, your computer, your tablet, and you can use a friends it, should you really require to get into it. So these are the three things that stood out for me with an Evernote, and that's why I chose the program a number of years ago. Finally, I just want to go back to Evernote uh, homepage and just show you the pricing structure that they have. Yes, you are seeing it correct. They have a free sign up, which is where we'll start with, this pre with these particular tutorials. In the next one, I'll be signing up and it'll show you what the basic features allow us to do. It's free pretty much for life. You can use it just in this free version. Obviously, you don't get all the options that are available to you, but you do get a very large majority of them. It gives you a good feel of how Evernote should work. Obviously, there's Plus and then there's Premium, £35, I suppose around about $53. And uh, this is really what I moved to very quickly after I realized how useful Evernote was to my life. Uh, we have PDF readers, we have uh, recognition software, dictaphone notes, uh, all things which are very, very useful. But uh, we'll start with the basic version, and from there, if it works out for you after a couple of weeks of using it, you may even want to move up to Plus or to Premium. That's it. Uh, we're going to be talking through these tutorials. They'll be nice and short, give you little wee hints and tips on how to make Evernote useful in your life, whether you're a business person, whether you're a stay-at-home person, uh, whether you're a student, whether you're just somebody who needs to put a whole load of receipts into one place or you want to use it as a file storage. This is an all-in-one program. Thanks for watching. Hope you'll join me again for the next tutorial, signing up with Evernote. Cheers. Cheers.